A teardown time. The box says digital multimeter, but it's actually a very special kind of meter. It's a mega ohm meter. This is the Vici VC60B+. Let's uh, take it apart. So just to review the operation, there's sort of a normal multimeter function on this side, and then the uh, insulation testing or uh, mega ohm meter on this side. Over here we have an ohm meter, a DC meter, and an AC meter. You can see there's no digits, so the resolution of this side isn't particularly great. Uh, but what's really special about this meter is on this side. Uh, there's a 250 volt, 200 mega ohm range, a 500 volt, 200 mega ohm range, and a 2000 mega ohm, uh, 1000 volt range. And what this is doing is it actually will generate a voltage uh, at, at say 250 volts, and then it'll actually uh, measure the uh, resistance of the circuit. And I'll get into why that's important, but for now let's just uh, connect it up uh, to this uh, fluke meter on this side here and put it into the voltage mode. I'm in the 250 range, I can press the test button, and what you can see, it goes to about 250 volts, a little bit over, and declares that the resistance to the meter is 10 mega ohms, which is actually quite correct, that's good for this meter, uh, so the reading is quite uh, plausible. You can of course then go to 500 volt range, and uh, same thing, coming just a little over 500 volts, and still 10 uh, mega ohms. Uh, and then to 1000 volts, which I think is uh, near the limits of this meter here. Sure, uh, just a little under 1000 volts, and... Uh, now declaring about 13 mega ohms. So that's the, the basic idea. You probably a high voltage, they measure the resistance. Um, other features for the meter, there's a backlight function here. There's a button that you can hold, you do a hold function where you can press it. Um, there's a feature which I'm not entirely sure is a great idea. Uh, normally with these meters, you press the hold because they're turning really high voltages. But if you want to, you can actually um, rotate this dial and it'll then continuously generate the voltage which is a little bit scary in my mind because that's a pretty high voltage so I'm, not, I'm sure if I'm keen on that feature. Uh, coming down into the meter, uh, the reason for four jacks, there's uh, two jacks in the middle here for the traditional ohm meter functions and these are here for the uh, mega ohm side. So here's the insides of the assembly. It's a single circuit board at two layers. Uh, this LAN pattern is the connector up to the LCD display. Uh, under here is a uh, single chip controller uh, which uh, is probably a traditional uh, multimeter controller. Uh, it gets a little special though down here, just to go over the other side of the board. Uh, we can see a, a fairly significant transformer, and on this side some uh, high voltage capacitors and uh, a transistor here. I suspect this forms a, uh, a boost circuit that creates that uh, 250, 500, or 1000 volts. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, interesting workmanship things going on. Uh, these capacitors, for example, if I had to zoom in, they're rated to one kilovolt, so that's really close to exactly what this thing's generating. Not much uh, margin there. Uh, the barrel construction is uh, fairly weak in the sense that uh, it's soldered directly onto the circuit board, so any bending moment of the lead will eventually uh, shatter this uh, solder, or cause, cause something called a fracture. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, that would cause the meter to malfunction. A much stronger approach is to try to get the mechanical stresses away from the actual barrel con contact. If you look at a good quality meter like Fluke, you'll see a very different construction. I've got a number of videos up on my channel on that. Uh, this is the uh, pattern for the, uh, the dial selector. Uh, it's not gold-plated. You can see it's sort of nickel over uh, copper. And uh, that is going to wear away relatively quickly. Uh, better quality meters would always gold-plate these contacts. Uh, other things, lots of uh, flux residue left over in the assembly any time they had some through-hole components, they uh, hand-soldered them on and they didn't bother cleaning the flux off. Really typical of uh, a meter at the, the bottom end of the market and this certainly was the least expensive uh, Amigo meter I could find uh, on uh, Amazon. So uh, very consistent with other past practices. Um, otherwise, um, AC input here, oh pardon me, a DC input from an AC a transformer. You can either put batteries onto it. There's a, a connector back to the battery bay here, or there's an AC input. Um, can't say I'm overly thrilled with its location close to this 1,000 volt uh, lead here, but um, the board is quite large, so the clearance distance of these traces is actually fairly significant, um, unlike some meters. Uh, but still, it'd be interesting to calculate what the creepage looks like. Uh, some other interesting things, actually, the board was made on January 20th, 2017. I'm tearing this down in a June, so that's a really fast sell-through. This uh, meter obviously must be uh, moving off the shelf fairly quickly. That's a, a short date indeed. Well, there we have it. Uh, this is the uh, insides of a uh, megometer, the uh, VC, VC60B+.